The practice of yoga, the self-discovery aspect of yoga, the self-inquiry, the self-awareness is what drew me more, more so than the physical postures, although breathing, of course, um, and the postures, very powerful to help me come to a sense of self. Um, but one of the most transformational pieces for me in why I came into Krupala Yoga in particular was because of the community here in which I felt safe enough to discover some hidden parts of myself that really wanted to surface, that wanted to be healed. So yoga for healing, for self-discovery, for personal transformation is really the reason that I'm, I'm practicing yoga. And the most profound experience of that was um, having lost my father at nine years old. Um, during a very deep experience of breathing, yogic breathing, and being, let's say, supported in that yogic breathing by really very caring, compassionate leaders, um, I had a, an experience of this, this deep loss, and when I came out of that experience of having lost my father at nine, uh, the leader, who was very intuitive, a good friend of mine, Sudhir, came over to me and said, you know, you look just like a kid with a baseball cap. And, you know, it hit me right in my chest, in my heart, and I, I actually fell to the floor on my knees, and I was sobbing and crying. And all of this grief, 30 years of grief, just flooded out of me. And um, it's mo one of the most profound healing events in my life. And uh, because when, when I was at that age, at nine years old, my mother not having the resources, the family around me not having the tools, uh, the, the conscious communication tools and so on, to help me through that grief, I'd been carrying that grief for 30 years. And when he said, you look like a kid with a baseball cap, I remembered what they gave me uh, was a baseball glove. And um, the synchronicity of all of that coming together was just the, one of the most profoundly healing experiences that I've ever, ever had.